After many teasers, Lexus has finally revealed the Lexus GX at 8 p.m. Eastern on June 8th, 2023. Have you watched the full reveal video? Well, maybe not. Well, in this video, I'm going to go through what I've learned and observed as part of the reveal. And you can put your seatbelts on so that we can go into a little bit more detail. So before we start, let's look at the history of the GX. The GX is a full-size SUV sold in North America and Europe Asia markets by Lexus. And GX actually stands for the Grand Crossover. And at that time, it was the third SUV to enter the Lexus lineup. Right now, we actually will have seven SUVs in Lexus lineup. The GX was launched in 2002 as a 2003 model. The first generation had a 4.7 liter V8, and that's the 2UZ FE, and it had a 5 speed automatic transmission. It was based off the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, and the GX sat between the RX and the LX. This first generation went into production until 2009. The second generation launched in 2009 as a 2010 model. It was debuted as the GX460, which means that it has a 4.6 liter V8 and the engine is the 1UR FE, having 301 horsepower and 329 pound-feet of torque. This second generation spanned really 14 years, cause the new generation is now the 2024 model year. In between the 14 years, the GX did get some facelifts. In 2013, the first facelift, Lexus added the spindle grille design with new headlamps and daylight running lights. The second facelift was actually very close, 2019 as a 2020 model, which changes the spindle grille a bit and adds the triple beam headlights. The first generation lasts 6 to 7 years, and the second generation really 14 years. Do you think the third generation will last beyond the BEV shift? I don't know, it probably will. And when you look at it, I think the new generation is going to last until they can figure out an off-road BEV. So now, let's look at the third generation GX. So what do you think about the completely redesigned GX? Do you like the new design? If you do, click on that like button to let me know that you like this design. But if you don't like it, don't click the unlike, please. The new GX will be a 2024 model year, and it will be available in the United States at the end of 2023. It will be built on the TNGAF platform, which we have the Land Cruiser, Sequoia, Tacoma, Tundra, the LX, and now the GX. The new GX comes in two powertrains, one ICE and one hybrid system. The ICE is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 producing 349 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. And it's also with a 10 speed direct shift automatic transmission. However, I've seen reports that it's a 3.5 liter turbo 2. So I don't know it's a 3.4 or 3.5. Maybe some markets are rounding up and rounding down really don't know. But then the second powertrain is a 2.4 liter turbo and that's made it with a 8-speed automatic direct shift. So it's no CVT hybrid. This is actually using a real transmission. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of information about the hybrid powertrain and that's all I know about it at this point. But I think it's going to be very close to the RX500H where we have the similar 2.4 liter power, hybrid powertrain and probably they may tune it a little bit different so that it gets a little bit more power but I think it's going to be very close and fuel efficient wise it should be much better than this 3.4 liter twin turbo. So there's no fuel consumption numbers for the hybrid at this point but we know something about the fuel efficiency in the GX550 and that is 13.8 liters per 100 kilometers, which is equivalent to about 17 miles per gallon in the US or 20 miles per gallon in UK. 
So they're saying that the all new GX has been totally reimagined. They're saying it's the premium off-roader and it's designed to elevate the customer experience in different scenarios. Either you're off-roading or you're on the urban streets just cruising along. And this is really the first time they're doing a complete redesign for the GX since they actually launched in 2002. And it, the whole thing has been totally reimagined. So the previous generation GX has already been known for off-roading, but now they're saying that this new one has actually added combining purpose-built packages for off-roading performance. They've introduced EKDSS systems, resulting in improved traction on diverse roads, and they also what they did was they added the electric power steering to ensure that they have linear response and maintaining the Lexus on-road ride quality. So they're saying that you would get the Lexus feel when you're on-road and you'll actually get very good rugged off-road capabilities. So this one, I really don't know, but I think it's gonna be extremely well. Who's gonna take the LX off-roading? Probably you'll go down to the GX and do off-roading with that. Lexus is also promoting the Overtrail project in order to bring enjoyment of diverse outdoor lifestyles and the vehicle is in line with that and what they've done is they've introduced two trims. One is called the Overtrail and one is called the Overtrail Plus. So there are going to be special things equipped into those two grades to the new GX. So the new GX is 4,950 millimeters in length comparing to the previous generation which is 4,880. So it's roughly, it's a little bit longer than the old one and from a width standpoint it's 1980 millimeters and comparing to the old generation it was 1885. So it's about 100 millimeters uh, longer which is one centimeter so it's not really that big of, the, of a difference and when you look at the height the new GX is actually 20 millimeters shorter at 1865 but when you look at the wheelbase the wheelbase is actually longer so the 2850 millimeter wheelbase compared to the previous generation of 2787 millimeters so overall dimension wise I think they're very similar so when you look at it from off-roading, when you compare it to the previous model, the approach angle has actually increased by 5 degrees, and the front overhang has actually been shortened by 20 millimeters. So that actually gives the GX a much better uh, vehicle to go off-roading. There is a new electronic power steering system, and instead of using a traditional hydraulic power steering system that was used before, the EPS delivers a smooth and precise steering feel, and there is also an adaptive variable suspension system which also improves responsiveness and stability, and that all encompasses gives the Lexus driving signature. So from looking at it, it's very rugged, and it does have very good off-road proportions. They actually say that the front pillars of the vehicle has been pulled back and raised compared to the previous generation and it creates a square silhouette making it really look like an off-roader, right? And the high hood also makes it, enhances it of that more strong feel. When you talk about a Lexus, you can't talk, you cannot avoid the spindle grille, right? So they're saying that this new design right now, which has the iconic spindle body, and it's a it's a distinctive spindle grille that Lexus have never used, and it has rugged and functional protective shapes to protect the components of the vehicle so that when you're doing off-roading and all that, like if, if rocks or grass or trees hit it, it actually will protect those components. And the bottom part of the spindle where you have the drop down, that's actually purposely done. It actually allows cooling functionality. So it lets air to go in to the radiator so that while you, you are off-roading, it can still cool down that engine when needed. There are seven colors in the GX and they have some solid colors that actually give you the off-road type of colors and there's also metallic cut tones which I think are similar to the previous Lexus colors. And then the Overtrail grade actually has six colors including a newly developed Moon Desert color and bitone options added so that you can have different variations. So which color do you like? 
When you talk about the GX, you cannot avoid not talking about towing. It can tow up to 8,000 pounds. The base signature and premium grades, you can tow up to 8,000 pounds. And the Overtrail and the Overtrail Plus, you can also do 8,000 pounds as well. The Luxury Trim, you can do 6,990 pounds. And the Fully Loaded Executive Trim, you can do 6,780 pounds. And that's still a lot, right? Like the new NX RX, it's using the new cockpit style, which is rooted from the Tazuna concept, right? There's really no difference between uh, the NX and, and these models. They do look very similar. And what they've done is they've integrated the heads-up display and all that so that you can actually keep your eyes on the road. So the GX features a 14-inch touchscreen. So this one is very similar to the NX and RX where they have the 14-inch Lexus interface screen. And they also have hard buttons. The hard buttons like for the heater, the volume knob, the power button, and all the shapes are taken in consideration. Which, when you look at it, it's actually looking at similar parts bin of the NX, RX, and all the vehicles right now. Because it uses the same Lexus interface, it will come standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And also, uh, similar to the LBX, they will be getting a 12.3 multi-information display. So it's not like the Maya Next where we have the small display. Now the whole display dash is actually an LCD panel. So you can have up to seven seats in the GX and they've actually changed the ergonomics so that they can actually help decrease load and work when you're driving. And what they've done is the front seat point, hit point to the heel length has actually increased 30 millimeters. And they're saying that the second row has two configurations. You can have captain's chair or a 60-40 split bench. And also when you talk about the third row, they have a one motion tumble system that you can easily fold down the third row. So it's much better than the previous generation. Heated and ventilated seats are standard for the driver and passenger seats, and you can have available second row heated seats. The third row is actually you can have it powered or manual too. And there is a rear seat reminder uh, so that if you open the door before you start the vehicle, it actually reminds you that you may have something in the back door. Um, I turned that off for my NX. So you can get two types of materials inside the seats. You can have the semi aligned leather or new Lux trim in a few colors, black, gray, saddle tan with black or dark brown trims. And the Overtrail grades are actually getting the first GX combination. It's black Nulux with olive green, like it's all it's a greenish ultra suede accents. Or you can have a Chateau Nulux trim with olive ultra suede accents and the black ornaments. There is actually six charging ports, but if you have the Overtrail uh, grades, there's only four. And there is a wireless charger in the front co console tray, which I hope is better than my NX and there's also a, a lot of storage areas. There's also up to 12 cup holders. I don't know how many cups you need but there's 12 cup holders. And people who are thinking about the audio system, well it comes with a stand standard 10 speaker premium sound system. I'm wondering if that's the same one that I have in my NX. But then there's available 21 speaker Mark Levinson sound, surround sound system. One major upgrade in comparison to the previous generation is the Lexus Safety System Plus. The second generation continued with the original Lexus Safety System Plus and did not get any updates, while other vehicles were equipped with newer generations as they continued to get refreshed. Now that the GX is totally redesigned, it is now equipped with the Lexus newest safety system plus 3.0. So 3.0 includes the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, all speed dynamic radar cruise control, lane tracing assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, road sign assist, and proactive driving assist. So with all these technologies, now the GX is no longer the old GX. It actually is lined with all the other brand new Lexuses that are coming out. So the signature and premium trims get 20 inch alloy wheels and the tires being used is 265 55 R20s. And when you look at the 
Overtrail and Overtrail Plus grades uses only 18 inch alloy wheels and that's great for off-roading and it uses 265 70 R18 tires and the Luxury and the Executive actually gets 22 inch alloy wheels with 265 50 R22s. There is so much information about the new GX I'm getting so much information overload at this time and it and it's exciting to see a brand new redesign of the oldest model that Lexus has not refreshed. 14 years in the making. Do you think that this redesign was worth 14 years? Well, let me know what you think about this brand new and completely redesigned GX. Do you like the exterior design? I think some people probably wouldn't say they like the old one more. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thank. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.